Today I'm going to show you three super simple song transition techniques that'll take your epic song idea into a full song. They include major to minor slash minor to major, reordering chords, adding and subtracting chords. Let's get started. <laughs> Squad Car 37 vlog, action. To begin, let's talk a little bit about song structure. What? Most songs have at least a verse and a chorus. The verse is the part of the song that sort of sets the stage and the storyline. If it's an instrumental, it introduces a familiar sound or motif. And the chorus of the song is the most memorable part. That's the part that you'll end up humming or singing along to. <laughs> Other components of a song include a bridge, which basically takes you away from those elements and then brings you back. And then also something called a pre-chorus, which lies between the verse and the chorus. There are other song elements as well, but for today's discussion, let's just stick with the verse, chorus, and bridge. Sounds like a lot, but really it's not. If you think about it, if you're just writing a song in the most basic elements, the verse is repeated two times, the chorus is repeated multiple times, and then there's one bridge. So there's really only three parts to write. Now that we've loosely described a verse and a chorus, let's talk about transitioning between the two. Tip number one, major to minor, minor to major. All I mean by that is, if you have a minor progression, in your next section, make it a major progression. If you start with a major progression, in the next section, make it a minor progression. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. So let's say we have a chord progression in A minor that goes to C, to G, and then F. So one minor chord and three major chords. And it sounds to me like a verse. and we need it to go somewhere. So we need a chorus to follow this. Two, three, four, chorus. Now what is that going to be? Well, since we started in a minor, let's transition into a major progression because it'll give it a bit of a lift. Good idea. We already know that these chords sound great together. That's beautiful. Because our ears tell us so. By the way, you already have two of the most important music creation tools. Your ears. They're always going to tell you if something works or if it doesn't. So listen to your ears. And drink lots of water. Let's get back to it. Tip number two. What is it? Reorder the same chords that you have. Oh. So in this example, we've got A minor to C major to G major to F major. And we're ending on an F major. You could literally just do the reverse of that in the chorus. So. Back to the verse. See how well that went together? Oh yeah. Now what if we didn't want to do exactly the reverse of it? Let's audition some of the other uh, major chords after that verse and see which one might have an even stronger transition. So we got the verse. What if we go to C? There you go. So that even sounded stronger. So what's next? How about a bridge? What I like to do is after the second chorus, instead of going back to a third verse, I'll send it into a bridge. If we're ending, think minor to major, major to minor. If we are um, ending on a major chord in the chorus, the F, I'd love to go into a minor, but A minor is too familiar to us at this point. So how about an E minor? Okay. Now, you may not be fluent in chord theory or music theory, so use your ears. 
All the notes of the E minor fit in this scale. That's why it sounds pleasing to your ears. So let's end on F in the chorus and go E minor. And then bring it to F. How about a C? To a G maybe? That works. Repeat it. Then you might go to the chorus. See how that all sounds good together? You're just recycling the same chords. You're going from minor and major to create a conflict and resolution. You are reordering the chords. So another tip is adding or subtracting chords. What I like to do is I like to start with a number of chords, and usually that's for the chorus, and then I'll pare it down for the verse. Come on. So for example, this little verse thing, If we wanted that to be a chorus, well, you could just kind of riff in the um, verse with the first two chords and then add the other chords during the chorus. So you could do something like. Right? Yeah. Sounds like a verse to me. you give But I'm essentially playing the same chords before. Yeah. A minor, C major, G major, F major. The only difference is, on this verse, I held the chords a little longer, so. as long. The other thing you'll notice is dynamics. When I go into the chorus, I got louder. I got softer in the verse. So there are a number of different ways to let somebody's ear know that something new is happening. Dynamics or loudness does that. First five of you that subscribe to my YouTube page, after this video, I'm going to give you a personal shout out in my next video. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay curious, be creative. You're still here. Go home, write some music, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Andrew. He's back. I remember those ridiculous voicemails that you left me that I turned into songs? Uh-huh. Sure. Well, I'm going to use them for the first uh, squad car vlog. <laughs> you should. You definitely should. If you're curious about this guitar, it's a Zager. Zager is an American-built acoustic guitar. Denny Zager, the guitar builder, created this guitar to be easy to play, and um, it absolutely is. It's the first thing that you feel when you sit down to play it. The strings are close to the neck. It is um, easy to solo on. plays like an electric guitar. Anyway, I just got this thing and I'm loving it. So check it out. Check out Zager Guitars online. Look up Denny Zager and listen to the song in the year 2525. It's pretty awesome. Come on.